this week. We've been infected by the techno-organic virus from the future. We're waiting for Cable to come with a cure, but... The future sucks. It does. Apocalypse rules. Mutants are gone. Sentinels remain. The resistance is small. Wolverine, you know, but... Wolverine is really short. He is really short, but did anybody, you know... Alright, so yeah. A little, a little, a little sick here, but it's Wednesday. Wednesday means new comics, which is always good. There's some good stuff this week. There's, um, you know, I mean, it's... I, I guess? I yeah, mean... Definitely. Uh, I mean... And it's a little light, you know, mid, mid-month. mid But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll start out here with Remind, Volume 2. This was a uh, direct book that we got a couple years ago. Um, from Jason Brubaker before it was offered in previews. And it's the story of a girl who loses her cat, and about three days later, the cat shows up on the beach with stitches in its head, and it can talk. Now, that's pretty weird. You know, normally you miss your cat. I mean, it's like abducted by some strange neighbor who's like, you know, enticed it with some food and some tuna, and you're like, hey, what the hell? Why are you, why are you stealing my cat? And then some like old lady, and you got to call the cops. And, you know, it's weird. But this is even weirder. And um, there's a, uh, basically they try to find out where the hell the cat went, and it leads them to this grand uh, kingdom under the sea. Oh. With weird magical creatures and all sorts of stuff. Um, so this is volume two, and uh, it's very much kind of like Amulet, um, Kazukubishi stuff. It's got a bone quality to it. Um, it's really, you know, nice. It's good for all ages, and it's got a cute cat. You know, going through weird underwater dimensions. And, With a giant fist. And giant fist. And Punching like, things. Yeah, I mean, strange merman people stuff. It looks really good. Jason Brubaker does the art and the writing. Uh, it's a nice, you know, package, everything, 25 bucks. It's very cool. But yes, you know, if you're looking for more all-ages, good, fun, fantasy, you know, underwater adventure, Remind with cats. Remind yourself to buy Remind. Remind yourself, yes. And at a marvelous week, we've got... The one-shot, Avengers, The Enemy Within, number one, kicking off the, you guessed it, The Enemy Within crossover between Kelly Sue DeConnick's Avengers Assemble and Captain Marvel. You know, Captain well, Marvel's right, both there's Avengers around, yeah, yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, that's fine. yeah clever, right? Uh, it's got really, really awesome art by Scott Hepburn, who was working on Tom Morello's Orchid, yep. and I believe still is. That comic's still no, running, finished. right? Really? Finished, yeah, when did that happen? Twelve. Uh, a couple months ago. I didn't notice. Yeah. I don't know. But this stuff looks even better. Yes. Really good. And Jordi Belair... Colors it masterfully. All, always. Always. Nice joking you on his cover. Yeah, yeah. I want to see more interior covers. from him soon. I'm hoping. Hopefully. I mean, if Mike Allred ever needs to take another break from FF. Yeah, because that was really good. That was really good. Um, well, speaking of FF... And Mike Allred. And Mike Allred. He's back with Laura Allred. And doesn't this cover... It just... it. Clobber and range, all right, in big letters. This is what you need on your covers. Goofy stupidness. Dialogue on covers? What? I know, right? Uh, I, it's just, it's yeah. brilliant. I mean, this book has been continually fantastic. Uh, I was just talking about oh, how... fantastic? Ha, 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 ha. Yeah. Uh, talking about how Matt Fraction seems to have upped his superhero game lately. Um, after the, you know, misstep that was Fear Itself. Maybe he had something to prove. Less of a misstep you is know. a very large tumble. And... Yeah. Role. He was kind of like the boulder in Indiana Jones. Right? <laughs> um, but no, he's been taking kind of the Hawkeye approach with uh, mixing around the, the timelines and storytelling. Um, and it works really well because it's, you know, the Fantastic Four and they hop time and do sorts of weird crap anyway. Um, and he, you know, you can't, you know, not a better partner than, than Mike Allred in attempting to create pop fantastic, you know, throwaway nonsense. It's great. fish people and moloids. And fish and people and moloids. Evil genius toddler. I know, so and the friggin... He's toddler, he's like eight. But right? But he will, he will subjugate you. And then Dragon Man will be like... Mm, be like no okay. subjugation. No subjugation. Yeah. It's friggin' hilarious. <laughs> Alright. We have also got Wolverine and the X-Men, number 29, I guess. Uh, Ramon Perez still on the book. Uh, this is... Telling sort of a future story of the Jean Grey Academy. There's a Wolverine with a beard and white hair, and more importantly, the Banffs, the tiny Nightcrawler lookalikes, are old and decrepit, and they have beards, and it's amazing. And they have shamanistic, weird tattoos and stuff, which maybe they have it's shaman cool. powers. Yeah, maybe. I'm helps. pretty sure they're just demons. I'm pretty sure that's it. Well, it helps them steal his, you know, booze easier. That's true. Because you know, you need to. And demons need booze too. They do. They need the whiskey, not just Wolverine. It's true. From the massive, 
powerhouse that is Adventure Time comes the very first original graphic novel from Adventure Time. You will not find this story or this art anywhere else other than right here. Uh, it's eleven ninety nine. It is in black and white, but that's how you keep costs down. Um, and honestly, you know, I don't really know what the story is, but do you care? It's Adventure Time. You know, it's going to be Jake and Finn. They're going to punch the Ice King a few times and come across some weird, strange, bizarre nonsense in the land of Ooh. Uh, and it's going to be funny and awesome. And it's Adventure Time. Yeah. And it's all new. It's 12 bucks. Get your adventure time. And also from Boom this week, we have the first issue of the new regular show ongoing. It's written by Casey Green of, of course, Gun Show Comic, the greatest webcomic to ever exist. It's hilarious and depressing and mostly hilarious, but also really, really, really depressing. It's great stuff. Of course, regular shows me a whole lot less depressing because we it's, would hope so. it's just nonsense. Honestly, it's fun nonsense. And, and clearly Adventure Time paved the way True. for things like a regular, regular show, which is cool. You know, it's kind of like the well, weird... Well, I mean, you could say that Ren and Stimpy paved the way. Absolutely. Or Looney Tunes paved the way. Or, but, you could go you all know. the way back, you know. Absolutely. Adventure Time showed everyone that was marketable, at least. That's true. Marketable. It's all about the money in the end. You know, shit. Um, new from Image Comics this week. Uh, another new Image number one. It's already out of print. Already unavailable. Probably worth like ten dollars already. You know. Uh, quick aside. I was looking through the Bleeding Cool magazine that came out this week. Why would you do that to yourself? Be I need to lose some brain cells. And so Rich Johnson had the balls to put a price guide in the back of recent comics, and he's li listing, like, Nowhere Men number one at, like, 40 bucks or some nonsense like that, and... I, it's Wizard Magazine all is, over again. It is Wizard Magazine, man, but buy comics because you like them. Um, this is new from Nathan Edmondson, who just uh, finished, or no, is still doing uh, Where is Jake Ellis, and did Who is Jake Ellis, um, with newcomer Constantin... Novozadov? I murdered his name, I've never heard of him before. But it looks really great. It's about a uh, about dreams and the consequences of remembering said dreams. Uh, this guy is basically plagued by recurring dreams of knowledge that he should not have, that most humans have forgotten. And he remembers this and is then chased by the beings who lock this information away. Oh. And he's helped and aided by kind of a mysterious old man type of thing. Um, but yeah, it's a new sci-fi thriller. There's six issues. It's got a nice wraparound cover, which is really cool. Uh, the colors are really great. It's lots of nice blues and reds and and grays. It's very, it's, it's definitely got a dreamlike feel to it. I really like this guy's art. It looks really nice. Um, but yeah, Nathan Edmondson, you know, he's a big crime writer, uh, but his sci-fi stuff usually has a real nice, like, thriller aspect to it. It definitely has got a, uh, a concise edge to it, which is cool. So, new number one from Image. Yeah, they're really running the, uh... Kind of ripping off the whole look of Unwritten there, though, with the uh, the font and everything. It's kind of... Yeah, you know, you work with what sells. Soon yeah. everything's going to look like Saga. Oh, you know, God, so. don't say that. There'll be lying cats in every corner. Mm, we can flush all the Saga away with mindless, bloody superhero violence. <sighs> this is Warren Ellis's Authority. In a nice, new hardcover edition, this is collecting... 12 issues of it. That is... Which is, is this whole run? run Warren Ellis wrote? Yep. Yeah. This whole run. Warren Ellis, Brian Hitch, late 90s Brian Hitch. Not quite Ultimate well, Brian no, Hitch. Early 2000s. Early 2000s? Yeah, like well, late 90s. And, yeah, 99. Like, back when he was really good. When he wasn't lazy. At all. I mean, he drew, like, every, every you know, block on those ships. And yeah, there, there are some space impressive ships. spaceships. Yeah, but this is, like, this is one of the best Warren Ellis books that people haven't been reading because it's been out of print for quite a while, and this is really what started the more recent um, superheroes as kind of like more of a real world thing, you know, as taking charge of government, taking charge of people, and moving them in kind of the next like evolution of, of, of humanity. Kind of a lot what Squadron Supreme started uh, back in the 80s with Mark Grunwald, um, but not as intense. Like, Squadron Supreme, they didn't get drunk, um, they didn't bang hookers, they didn't do drugs. They were still uh, classic superheroes. They were still classic superheroes, yeah. And Warren Ellis came along, and he just doesn't really care at all. No, he was like, Batman? Oh, I'm gonna make a Batman, he'll be gay, and there'll be a Superman, and he'll be gay too, and we'll have him get married, and it'll be awesome, and it'll piss people off. And it was great! It was awesome. But yeah, this is what? 30 bucks... You wish it was bigger because Brian Hitch needs bigger art, yeah. but it's not bad for what you got. Um, you can't get the trade anymore, but yeah. More than else. Definitely. Um, my Little Pony. You know about it. We talk about it. Your children, they love it. They beg you for the 
ponies. So your listen children, to your children. Yeah. Your children. Exactly. Whatever, whatever excuse you need, you know, this is a no questions asked type of place. We got bags with covers. You know, you can't see through them, so you can walk down the street without really being, you know, if that's, you know, if you're worried about you that type of thing. You be incognito about it, you totally, know. Totally, totally. But this is the first... I want to say six issues, because number seven came out today as well. So it's the first six issues of My Little Pony, all for 18 bucks. It's even got all the different covers in the back, and you know you wanted all the covers. You know you did. You know you didn't afford to buy them. Some of you crazy enough, too, but yeah. My Little Pony. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's just clear ourselves of all that friendship and magic things with and more mindless violence. Yay. That's really my favorite palate cleanser. It is. Legend of Luther Strode, number five. It's oh, nearing six. the conclusion. So close. Oh my, one more issue. How much more violence can they pack into this? Uh, that's a good question. Yeah. Considering the last <laughs> issue of the first series, I, know. I would say quite a bit. Yeah, I mean... Quite a bit. And, and if you can believe it, Tradmore's gotten better. Yes. And yes, Justin has. Jordan has gotten more crass. The first three pages is just nothing but F-bombs and Tommy guns. And that <laughs> that's should... That's been my band. F bombs and Tommy guns. Don't steal that. And you either. Don't steal that. That's mine. I just, I just claimed it. Come on. Whatever. No, you can't have it. It's mine. But yeah, Jack the Ripper. In this issue, more Jack the Ripper, who's just amazing. Yeah, it's he's pretty he, great. Don't we try more. He's just flying him. around with knives and crap. He doesn't care. Just... It's like a. I want a Luther Strode fighting game. Honestly. Oh, that'd be really cool. Luther Strode fighting game. I'd play that. It beat Injustice out the water for sure. And from Dark Horse this week, another dream title, don't get this confused, this is Dream Thief by Giants and Greg Smallwood, who I've never heard of before, and honestly I didn't know much about this book until it came out today, but it looks really good. It's got a really nice, almost like charcoal finish on the lines, which is cool. Um, uh, I, I think that's just a dry brush. But it's yeah. just a dry brush, well, you know, there you go. Uh, but it's about this guy who wakes up after a bender and uh, can't remember what happens, and uh, the story slowly evolves and kind of tells you what's going on. And, um, you know, he, he's just, he's this kind of out of work, half magician, half director person who decide, gets stoned in a museum and decides a good idea to steal this, like, you know, mask that is a dream thief mask. And he decides... Whatever to, that means. Yeah, whatever, whatever that, means. that means. And then he wakes up in the bathroom with this mask on and, well, I won't spoil it, but it... Things just don't go bad. You know, usually when you have a bender, you know, none of your friends talk to you in the morning, you cheated on your girlfriend, something like that. This guy wishes it was that easy. You know, no, this is this is very rough. Um, but the colors in this are really nice, and uh, some badass pinups in the back of this book, too. they got this really nice arm. That is wearer. really cool. Ooh, yeah. who's that? Yeah, Derek I have no Donovan. idea who that is. So, you know, random bong. That was a random bong. Uh, so, yeah, you know, this looks really fun. New from Dark Horse, new 4 issue mini. Uh, yeah. And close it out with the cover of the week. We already gave you a little peek at it, but check this out in all of its glory. Nathan, Nathan Fox. Fox doing a regular show cover. It's so badass. With Look massive fist golden pounds. clocks. And fist pounds. Tail well, fist tail the fist pounds. Yeah, yeah, I think he's making a fist with his tail. Yeah, totally. He has a shark on his armpit. Oh, it had to hurt. Yeah. That's a that you know you're hardcore. It's not even the elbow. It's the, the armpit. When you it's get a tattoo, cool J hat on too. He does. Amazing. And only this would be cooler if it was a keytar. I mean, if it was strapped around his 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 you know shoulder and he's like <laughs> making the fist bump, then it would be even cooler. But there's just only so much awesomeness that one cover can contain. It's true. I, I hope that there will be a bottom half to this cover. Maybe that would now, be wonderful. He, Nathan Fox didn't get paid enough for that. He only got paid for half a cover. That dude, he, you know, it's a lot of money. A lot of money for Nathan Fox. So yeah, that was it this week. Regular show, dreams, ponies, everything that you need in life. So, be hopeful that the uh, techno organic virus does not come through you, you know, through the screen and infect you with our God, nasty. I feel it. I know. He's already. Ugh. 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 <sighs> Maybe Cable will come soon. Or Bishop, either one. Am I out of the cable? Bye. <laughs>